anxiety but before I left the house I was feeling very anxious about leaving my son for so long the recovery for butt implants is a lot more extreme and intensive than a BBL recovery so I'm going to be stuck in Los Angeles for three weeks I really should have stayed for more than that like a full month but I don't want to be away from my baby that long so alright y'all I'm at the airport chilling in this cool ass massage chair i didn't even know that these massage chairs was a thing but if you come across this massage chair at the airport it's totally worth it okay but anyway i just got finished leaving my son when i tell y'all i was boo boo crying it's only day one of my journey and i'm already crying so i just feel really guilty leaving him but i really really want this here I am. This is my first time seeing it. This shit is fucking gorgeous. Can't wait to see the inside. This little doll is the first thing I saw. Super creepy. What? The art in here is fire. Is that a stained glass window? Damn, this shit's sweet as hell. I wanted a place that was super homey because I was gonna be here for a long time oh god that's gorgeous it's like cottage style it's so cute little couch oh this bathroom this fucking bathroom i love this fucking bathroom i love it y'all yeah. i don't know who classy ass who classy as auntie, great auntie decor this house, but ooh, that's fine. This art, I'm here for it. Yup. Hey, yo. This is what I wore to the airport. The police was looking at me like I didn't belong at the airport. <laughs> Let's look at the next room. Oh, that was the next room. All right. It's the living room. He, oh, God. Y'all, look at this decor. Hold on. Let me bag out. Gorgeous decor. Yeah, I wanted a place that was really homey. Because I'm going to be here for a really long time. Look at that window. That is so pretty. Wow. I love it. I'm not going to lie. Wow. So pretty in here. I'm getting inspiration for my own home. Like, honestly. What's in here? Do they have water? Oh. Okay, I get water. Thank you. If they got ice cream in here, I'm gonna pass out on camera. All right, ain't no ice cream in there. But I like to have it passed out. All right, we can do laundry. All right. Oh. Ooh. Oh. 
Mmm. Mmm. Is that a seat? Okay. Seat me. Okay. Seat me. Yeah, this is cute. Ooh, this look. They're not playing with the art in here. You know what? They actually have a balcony. It's kind of dark, so you probably can't see, but. Beautiful tree on top. Wow, super cool. Wow. It says keep out. I'm going to respect that. That's super cool. And look at our yard at this Airbnb. I can't wait to check this out in the morning. Super cute yard. Wow, this is a mansion. This is a little mansion. I have never lived in a tiny mansion before. Look at this. Oh, wow. All right, y'all. So I'm finally settled in the Airbnb, and I just wanted to go over a few questions that I feel like you guys are going to ask me. But you guys are more than welcome to drop any extra questions you have down below in the comments. So the first question, um, what procedure am I getting? As you guys see by the title, I am getting butt implants, ass implants, butt uh, implants. <laughs> um, are butt implants like a BBL or butt injections? Butt implants are neither. A BBL is a fat transfer. It's when you take fat from certain sections of your body and you move it somewhere else. But injections are illegal. They are not FDA approved. I am getting solid silicone implants. Who is my doctor? My doctor is Dr. Ryan Stanton. He is out of Beverly Hills, California. That's why I'm in um, LA right now. And how did I find my doctor? So I found my doctor through this really cool website called Real Self. Real Self is like a, it's a review website that lists board certified cosmetic surgeons. And it also lists reviews from actual customers of theirs. So it shows like pictures, videos, their credentials, what country or state they reside or practice out of. And how much is the procedure itself? The procedure right now is 12,900, so about 13,000. But to my knowledge, that price can go up if you have had a BBL before. So if you've had a BBL, I think he charges an extra 2,000. I'm not sure why. Um, how does the doctor determine your size? So my doctor determines the implant size one based off your wish pick so in cosmetic surgery as you know it's not like uh, it's not necessary to live you're not curing anything it's just like a personal preference of yours so typically when you go in for cosmetic surgery they're basing it off of what you desire but your body always has its limitations so with implants, with breast implants, butt implants, hip implants, with any implant, essentially it's based off how much your skin or your muscle can take, like the density of your muscle. How do they place the implant? So I remember when butt implants first came out and they had like a really big issue with flipping. When butt implants first came out, of course it wasn't um, perfect. There has to be trial and error. So when they first came out, doctors were actually inserting the implants under the skin. So it was flipping under the skin or over the muscle. We've now moved on past that and doctors have found that it's a lot safer, smoother. You don't have to deal with all that flipping um, infection if you put it inside of the muscle. So if you think about the butt, you know, you have the skin, fat, tissue, muscle, bone. They're placing the implant in the center of the muscle. So if you think about the muscle like a little pita pocket, 
you're gonna cut a slit on the inside of the muscle but not cut it completely half open like leave the back closed and just create an actual pocket like a pant pocket and you slip that implant in the, in the center of that pocket and they're gonna close that muscle. So the implant itself is completely encased in your muscle. So you'll have bone, muscle, implant, muscle, fat, I mean tissue, fat, skin. <sighs> yeah. Um, recovery. From what I heard, recovery ain't no hoe, but your girl is from Detroit, so I'm about to eat that shit. But recovery is typically four to six weeks, and it's different for everybody. I'm guessing it, you know, varies off how healthy you are, your diet, if you exercise, if you're hydrated, do you drink, do you smoke, you know. But it's generally four to six weeks to feel close like yourself but it takes up to six months for the implant to drop and settle into place. Now, what I mean by drop and settle into place, um, they're very similar to breast implants. I don't know if you guys are familiar with breast implants, but when you first get breast implants, they're really high. They're like up to your neck, up to your collarbone because your skin is not used to that projection. It's really tight. So butt implants aren't too too different from that. When I get them, they're gonna sit up really, really high. And over time, they're gonna settle and drop and fluff. So while we're talking about um, recovery, it is advised, really it's 100% necessary at his office. Like they don't let you leave by yourself. You can't leave with an Uber, you can't leave with a taxi. You 100% have to leave with somebody. So me, I paid an on-call registered nurse, one that they um, suggested. Her name is Nurse Maud, and she's gonna be picking me and my homegirl up in actually like three hours. That's crazy, I stayed up this long. But yeah, she's gonna come get us at like 6.30, drive us to the practice, and the surgery takes about two hours, and then she's gonna bring us back. Now my nurse, she charges $35 an hour and with a minimum of four hours. So each time you see her, you're gonna be spending about $140. But you don't have to get a registered nurse. You can honestly just have somebody that you trust, that you know is gonna take care of you and you know just treat you right. You could just have somebody do that. So outside of the nurse, I also have my homegirl here and I have um, my aunt and then my best friend Zoe, and then maybe my homegirl in. But not all at one time. Um, everybody's coming, like, I'm having people switch out. So like one person will stay a week, the next person will stay a week, the next person will stay a week. And I'm gonna stay here for like a total of three weeks. I really feel like it should have been four weeks just to be super comfortable, but like I said, I'm just gonna do three, so. Well, all right, y'all, it is, like I said, 3.30 in the morning. My nurse is coming to get me in three hours, so I'm going to edit this video and post it, and shit, wish me luck. And stay tuned for how it turned out. I'm gonna post the second video tomorrow. I'm gonna to be posting in, chronological order in real time as things are happening so if you want to be up to date on what's going on subscribe and i'll see you in the next video